So this arrived today and I'm excited for some of the features in this. So this is the Quirk Logic paper. I'm gonna get it unboxed today and my first question is, is it upside down in here? If you haven't seen Voyeur's video where he unboxes this and goes through some of the main features of it, then I definitely recommend that. So watch this after this one. No, it's the right way up. Just remember this is an evaluation copy and so the real unboxing experience will be a little bit tighter than this. Quirk Logic are very happy to admit their unboxing experience is not all that exciting, but that's not what this is all about. I'd much rather have an ecological cardboard design and nothing too fancy. You get everything you need, you've got yourself a little USB power cable, got some spare nibs, and you've got the stylus. I want to thank Quirk Logic for sending me this to evaluate. So they haven't sent this in exchange for a video per se, but they've sent me this to have a look at, and I'm really keen to evaluate this in the context of education, so for my use in education. And I think this is a really exciting device for the future of education. It's built around that wonderful paper-like writing feel, but it's also built around collaboration and importantly about sharing ideas. You see, the pen is the most sophisticated thinking tool that we have devised. All this computer power is absolutely brilliant for making things. So for making high quality videos, for making digital art, the computer is amazing. It's amazing for streaming out live high quality video. It's amazing for making documents and desktop publishing. But it's not the best thing in the world for thinking. The pen is definitely not broken for thinking. So what Quirk Logic are doing here is they're just adding some digital tools to the pen. They're just adding some of that digital functionality to what's already a perfect thinking tool, the pen. Notebooks are the place for your thoughts, the place for your new ideas. And I'm sure that e-ink has a place in education. And what Quirk Logic want is they want our thoughts. They want your comments and your evaluation as well as mine. And so please, if you've got any questions or you've got any comments or thoughts about using this device, then please do put them down below. They're really interested to hear our feedback on this device. And at the moment, they are wanting to go through one update to the software every single month to improve our use of this device. So let me know what you think. See, LCD screens are great for Zoom chat. They're great for seeing other people on the screen. But I think the future of online meetings is to have your screen where you can see the person you're talking to, but to be sharing your documents on devices just like these. My first thought is it's so light, and this is an A4 size, a 13.3 inch screen. So that's a pretty cool feature. The top button is the eraser, and the bottom button is a highlighter. So you've got pen, highlight, erase. Their first product was the Quiller, and that Quiller actually replaces a flip chart in maybe a conference room or a classroom. And that's really placed well into the corporate world because it is quite an expensive device. It's a huge like, A1-sized yeah, flip chart replacement. But the QuirkLogic InQuirk system works really, really well for education. It's a really attractive choice for education. And I think with this device, the paper, they're really aiming more into the education market. Now, the thing about InQuirks is that you don't have to have the QuirkLogic devices to use that. It's got an Android, iOS, desktop, and web app as well. So what that means is you can share out what you're doing on this device with many other people live. And they can even contribute to the same document as well. So there's loads of great advantages for teaching. So I'm interested to know your thoughts. I think this might be the future of online education and I think this might be great for for face to face as well. So we can use our LCD screens to share our video chat so we can see each other, but we can be collaborating on something which is much more like paper. And forget that 
I'm just going to share my screen type chat or who's going to take control, who's working on which document. You're all working on the same document here for your ideas on this type of e-ink device. So I've been using the Remarkable One for the last few months and I'm going to compare using this. It's a much larger screen, it's a lighter device, it's a different interface. And I'm going to compare using this with the Remarkable and I'm going to let you know in the coming video which one I prefer for my use as an education professional. Note-taking e-ink devices are amazing. I'm working from home at the minute and it just feels like I'm staring at LCD screens all day. And so when I needed a screen break earlier on, then just actually reading something, reading a web article on an e-ink screen was a really relaxing time. E-ink can provide that screen break for your eyes. The Quirk Logic Paper is a really easy to use device. It's a great replacement for notebooks. I love the size and I love the weight. The software needs to be developed, but they know this and that's why they're sending it to people like me to get honest feedback about actually using the device. The hardware is good. It feels good to write on it. It's almost addictive to write on it, actually. The stylus is good. It's got three functions in one stylus, the pen, the rubber and the highlighter. I do wish it had pressure levels, so this is not the device for you if you want to do drawing on it. For me, the really exciting thing about this device is the possibilities to come and I'll be covering more about those in my upcoming videos. And it launches in the EU and the UK really soon, and I'm looking forward to more software improvements. So for example, they had some feedback about the pen speed and the battery life, and well, now it's improved. Thanks once again to QuirkLogic for sending me out this evaluation copy to try. I'm looking forward to getting to know it more and for how this develops in the future. And I'm really enjoying using it. This folio and stand is from a third party company and I think it just gives it a really pro book like feel and it doesn't detract from the thin and light feeling of the paper. I'm just showing off the side by side functionality so you can have your to do list on one side and your notes on the other. Just one of the great features because of that really nice large size e-ink screen. I'll be back with more thoughts and more evaluation on this device so in the meanwhile let me know your comments and your questions in the comment section below.